So the way Revolut is structured is that they offer two different plans. One is premium and one is metal. Uh, the metal is basically uh, a more advanced version of premium offering a couple more features that are not available for premium, but we'll get into it. The premium plan costs 7.99 euros per month. And what you get for that, and to be honest, is, is a lot, but really depends on what you actually use. They have a long list of features and it looks a lot, but if you actually start to dig in, you see that most of these do not really apply, at least from, uh, from personally, I don't need that much from them and it does not make sense to pay. But let's go over these. First feature is Revolut Junior, which is basically like, you know, controlling your children's uh, spending. Amazing. If you have children and up to two children for the premium feature, I personally, I don't have children, but if I would, that is something I would seriously consider because it really makes sense and it's not that much to actually pay for this big of a feature. Second feature is that you can get up to eight free trades per month compared to only three that you get with a free plan. So it depends if you want to use trading a lot or not. Afterwards, there is a fee of one euro per trade. So if it's something that you think you're gonna do a lot, it does make sense to get a premium. Then we have disposable virtual cards, which, I mean, if you want to feel extra safe, yeah, uh, you can have that. But to be honest, for many, most people, I don't think it's necessary. You can create one virtual card and use that uh, for several of very risky transactions. And I think that's uh, definitely enough. They do offer global express shipping of a new card in case your card gets lost or broken or whatever in three days anywhere in the world. Again, uh, unless you're traveling heavily and you're moving like from country to country where you can actually lose the card and you will need that. Um, this feature sounds nice, but generally won't be used by many people. They say that they offer priority customer support to premium users. And once I had premium account, I didn't really notice a difference. The only time this actually makes uh, sort of sense is when their customer support is overcrowded. So let's say, I don't know, there's a major crisis or every Revolut card stops working. When there is a massive demand for their support, then yes, it is nice to have a priority support and you will get your issue solved first. However, on a day-to-day -day basis, their customer support already is really good and really responsive. So whatever you have, you can literally just text them through the app and you will get your answer. Uh, and I didn't find any issues here or a reason to actually uh, pay more to get a priority support. When actually, I don't really use that often. If you think about it, it's probably a couple times a year at most. And the next section is with insurance benefits. And these are actually very tangible ones. So these are ones are, that are actually worth paying for uh, compared to everyday benefits where it's kind of on a need, need to basis. So here we first have a free overseas medical insurance. And yeah, that sounds amazing for eight euros a month you get covered anywhere in the world oh, uh, while traveling in case something happens to you. However, they do offer that for free users, but you have to pay around one euro per day when you actually are overseas. And I found this way more attractive than paying for premium. Um, you have to travel, like if you're using this feature alone, it means you have to travel more than seven days per month, every month, in order to like make sense to have that premium feature. Because remember, premium feature costs eight euros per month. So you have to travel at least seven days to cover that one euro uh, fee that they would they, they have for free plan. Now, if you don't travel that much and you only travel every couple of months for a few days, I mean, it's only extra couple of euros per month for that. And I am willing to pay that extra instead of actually going for premium. They also offer delayed baggage and delayed flight insurance. And from what I read, 
The offer is very compelling, but again, this is more used for someone who travels a lot. Getting premium jets specifically for this is probably not, not a good reason, but if you're traveling a lot, you see a lot of benefits from other features. It's definitely a nice bonus. And the last part is discounted device insurance. And I mean, it doesn't offer that much. Uh, the discount is a nice bonus and probably is there just to have it there. It seems like they offer that discount because you're only paying a couple of euros per week. So that discount is literally like a couple of 10, 20, 30 cents per week. And it seems that Revolut wanted to add something in there so it wouldn't feel empty. So they just threw that device insurance benefit. But to be honest, I mean, if you're a free user, we can use that as well. You will pay 10 to 20 percent more. So again, this is more as a bonus and not the main thing of premium. So the third section is travel savings. And this is actually the main reason why I started using Revolut. So if you're a premium user, they offer you 400 euros per month for free. You can withdraw anywhere in the world with the free account. You only have 200 euros. So again, this depends on how much you use cash and uh, how important this feature is to you. Personally, I don't really use cash anymore. Uh, very, very rarely. So that 200 euros per month is more than enough for me. If you remember, I said that oh, for the free plan, you have up to 6,000 euros per month of currency exchanges for free, either like paying for something or exchanging currency. Uh, of course, with the premium account, you, there is no limit. Literally, you have uh, this for free. With the premium, you get access to their premium card designs. So the actual physical like credit cards, debit cards that you order, you can customize them. They are way more beautiful. They are way more stylish. And But again, this just, just to pay to get that does not make sense, probably for most people. But there is one hack um, you can use, I, I guess, if you want to. Um, when I had premium, I, I legit, I had premium, I used it and, you know, I didn't need it anymore. So I actually canceled. But before I canceled, I actually ordered one card and those cards, their expired date is like in three, four or five years, something like along, the, along those lines. So I'm actually using the premium card, but I don't have a premium account uh, for a long time now and I still have those cards available so yeah um, I have a fun thing to do if, if you ever get premium and then decide to cancel it just remember to order the premium card uh, before that and you know uh, you're set for the next three to four years so that's it for premium and as we move on to metal this one is a bit weird uh, I don't really see a point in getting that and hear me out first of all the price the price is 13 euros and 99 cents, uh, basically 14 euros per month, which is 100% more than the premium. And you would expect that if you're paying twice as more, you would get twice as more benefits, right? No, actually with metal, it offers very little. So the Revolut Junior, now you can have up to five children. And I mean, yeah, it makes sense if you have, uh, because with premium, you can only have two. So if you're a big family of three or four children, I guess for this particular thing, it maybe makes sense to pay. And then Revolut offers cashback, which sounds good in theory, but I don't know. It's not a, a popular thing in Europe. I know in, in USA, it's more relevant and uh, more, cards actually do that in Europe we don't really have that either way it's not that much it's 0.1% for all the payments inside Europe and then 1% outside Europe so it may make sense if you are traveling a lot and, or you live abroad like overseas outside Europe uh, 1% maybe that's actually a good deal especially if you kind of spend a lot and it makes sense to you if you use other features um, but that needs to be kind of a combination to see if it's worth it. However, metal does make sense if you're into trading. Now you can get unlimited trades and no fees at all. So if you buy more than eight 
uh, or if you trade more than eight trades per month, uh, then maybe it makes sense. If you do like 15 or maybe 14 trades per month, like you're actually into it, 14 euros maybe sounds quite good for paying for this particular thing. But then again, it's very specific. And then we get to travel savings, which does not really offer a lot. It offers 200 more euros to withdraw per month, which is 600 euros per month. But then again, really depends on you if you need that much cash every single month. And that's it for metal. And it's, I mean, it's weird. You can see there is no real benefits out there. Yes, it, it looks good on list. It looks good on the app. But there are actually no real benefits unless you have children or you're really into uh, trading. It may make sense, but then again, um, still sounds a lot more expensive than it should be. And that is Revolut for you. I probably ended quite on a bad note there, with, especially when talking about metal. But um, you have to remember, Revolut is actually free. So that is why it's so amazing because it offers so much for free. Uh, I've been using it for four years. I have been recommending it before. Now I'm just doing it publicly on YouTube. So if you want to try it out, link in, as, link is in that description. I hope you really enjoyed this video. And if you want more app reviews like this, more are definitely coming. So just hit the subscribe button down below and uh, I'll see you the next time. Bye.